All right. Before we continue on, I think we should probably rest. Just maybe. Nice looking fire. Super comfy. Oh, it's still daytime. And we're healed. That's good. Yes. You know, something I'm actually curious about, I haven't seen. Do we have to actually exit the map at the proper spot in order to open up different spots on the map? I guess we'll find out just now. Let's see, that opened up Anslog's Compass, but not uh, to the east. So if I were to uh, head up to this eastern road over here, I wonder if that'll... Up, oh, is it the Black Reach? The Black Marsh? Yes, it does. Okay, good to know. I should always... Um... The Black Meadow. Check out multiple... Exits from a map. Alright, and nothing to the west. Okay. I imagine it's mostly the four cardinal directions that you have to check out to unlock things. Like, if we were to go out of the eastern side of uh, Gilded Vale, I'll bet uh, opens up something here. But let's continue. Actually, what am I after? Um... Right, Anslog's Compass. We should probably put priority on that. And then, yeah, his was in the Black Meadow. Alright, let's take care of the... the poor mother. Kaliska. First and foremost. Alright. Anslog's Compass. Which, based off of, uh... The loading screen looks like it might be a a beach. Hello, you two, Edrang and Tilly. Two villagers stand by one uh, one of the tide pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded, and look up nervously as you approach. Hello. If you're here to fish, as we are, as we were, stranger, you want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Why, what's the matter with it? Not that it was playing on fishing, but... Her companion shakes his head. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think much of the wreckage. Until we heard something. Ooh. Did a ghost ship wash up on shore? A terrible noise. I thought maybe it was a survivor. But he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly. <sighs> it was awful. Mmm, zombie ship. Let's see, what are you two doing out here? What do you mean? What did you see? Corpse, corpses. Walking corpses. We don't want any part of it. Whatever the cause. Might be we can find something in these tide pools. And then we're headed straight home. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's see. You said you see a lot of shipwrecks here. The woman nods. All the time. It's a lovely place, but dangerous as anything to sail. Sounds like you could use a uh, light uh, lighthouse. Good fishing most days. She wipes her brow. I think we'll look further up the coast next time. So you two just fishing around here? Fishing, of course. Except I lost my fishing rod when I flung it at the head of one of those monsters. Oh, we were looking the tide pools over. Thought we'd try our luck down by the rocks. Got the fright of our uh, fright of our lives. We'll have to make do with the nets here, or go hungry. Hmm. Well, if I see your rod, maybe I'll help you. Good tidings to you. Wait, do you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, Shara. Bunch of them. 
Um, you two, do you just get yourselves killed? I think I could save them. All right, let's try this again. Um, let's go. Does Halt have a, no, it does not have an area of effect. Go and attack. Same with you. And same with you. What? Don't don't go up, guys. Come on. You're smarter than that, aren't you? How bad? see they're still alive just barely um let's try barbs of Cond uh, condemnation there and a magic missile until the end that dragon is almost dead gotta finish you okay good Get another magic missile in here. Well. Gods, what a mess. Thank you for your help, stranger. You are welcome. Surprised I managed to let you live. Well. You really shouldn't have tried attacking, though. That was incredibly foolish. What is it? Oh, they're leaving. While well, I'm here, might as well check anything east west now. Crabs and small fish cluster in this pool left behind by the tide. Oh, that's right, tide pools. So this is a beach. There's a bunch of these guys. Gwyneth, do you want to get the champion? Durance. Do you want to, uh... I do will bonuses. Ah, oh, do we really need a blessing for these guys? There we go. We got the champion. Let's get um, these others one by one. They're not too tough. Oh, we got a hundred percent on the bestiary. Very cool. Let's attack the one that's under our control. Yeah. Did that daze him? Yeah, it did. Oh, uh, no, it didn't. Weren't attack. Right, I still need to change their AI. Oh, 
It's almost got me. There we go. As you wish. Okay, our health is still doing fine, it looks like. Oh, something in the pool? In the tide pool? Pages from Fuvano's travels. Oh, hey! We have his amulet, don't we? After several days' journey, it seems it's, uh, it is time to last... It is time at last to part ways with my traveling companion from New Helmar. A pity we could not see the compass together. But perhaps he will have, he will have as grand a time in Garen's grasp. I have given him my gloves for safekeeping, for I will hardly need them in such a fine weather. Well, fair enough. Wonder how his note ended up here. It's too defensive. And... I like that. Use Holy Radiance automatically. When people are below a certain level. Panamu Bird Scorned. Ahoy there! Ahoy! Kind of you to stop and speak, my western friend. Oh. Right, the, uh... Edern is to the west of, uh, Durwood. And Almao stands before you, his hair matted and once bright clothes and ruins. Equally ruined is his face. A hatching of thin scars crossed by broader wounds. Haven't seen another kith since my ship went down. I do not suppose you are looking to lighten your purse? Um, you were shipwrecked? Aye. We were transporting goods from the dead fire to Defiance Bay when a storm took us off course and ran us aground here. Only I survived. It's not the ship they were talking about, was it? Shouldn't be, the one with the zombies. He frowns for a moment, but then shakes his head, clearing the expression. You should consider sailing the islands of the dead fire, friend. No more beautiful a realm exists in the whole of the world. Seems dangerous, though. Who are you? I'm called Panamus Bird Scorned, chronicler of the Juana people. Strange, I know, but we do not we do not choose our names, do we? Fair enough. And what are you selling? The ship's cargo, goods from the dead fire, a few personal trinkets, all the highest quality. I wouldn't sell them, but without coin, how am I to return to my homeland? Uh, fair enough. What do you have? Hey, Fulvano's blunderbuss. Straight up gun. Though never as famed as he would claim, the Valian explorer Fulvano was known as an eccentric who wished to see the world. Yeah. I feel like, I wonder if we're gonna either run into his corpse or him somewhere. Seems like we're following his trail. Where possible, he traveled by foot, wishing to gain a local's appreciation for the sights, sounds, and smells of the lands as he passed through. In practice, however, Falvano often claimed that his explorations proved only... Right, we already saw that. Well, now that I have 8,000 copper... <laughs> One-Eyed Molina's Gold-Fingered Spike Flinger. That's a name for a uh, crossbow. One that has a dual cranks. That's interesting. Binds with chanters, ciphers, druids, rangers, and wizards. Huh. Soul bound. Soul bound items are unique items that can magically bond with the soul of a single character. Once bound, the item can be used by that character unless the bond is severed. 
Soulbound item will increase its power, increase in power, as the wielder completes certain requirements specified in the item's description. Most soulbound items can only bond with characters of certain classes. Ah, I see. However, regardless of the item's type, a soulbound item always qualifies for any talents or abilities, like weapon focus and specialization, that the character may have. Okay. For example, if a fighter has weapon focus and specialization in Ruffian, he or she would gain the benefits even when wielding a soulbound greatsword or wand. Oh, that's cool. So soulbound items transcend weapon restrictions, basically, for abilities and talents. Presumably, if you had multiple weapon focuses... Um, it would take whatever one is the highest, assuming they're even different tiers, and that they don't stack. Benefits from multiple, oh, it's answering that question now, from multiple uh, talents or abilities of the same type, for example, weapon focus, ruffian, and peasant, do not stack. From the same type, well, what about for different weapons? If the bond to a soulbound item is ever severed, it will lose all of the abilities it has gained over time. Oh, I can bind my soul right now. <laughs> no, let's not, though. Saber of the Seas. Unique one-handed saber. I'm surprised at how many items I've run into so far that are magical. I wasn't expecting that many this early. Average speed, decent damage. Plus 20% damage, actually. A 10% chance to cancel, cast Overwhelming Wave once per encounter. Well, very nice. It's a fine weapon. Give me better accuracy and increased damage percent. I wonder if that's accounted for here. Doesn't seem like it is. I mean, it doesn't have the uh, plus four accuracy listed anywhere. Like here. Another soul bound club this time. A fine, just straight up pistol. Interesting, it needs two hands. Kind of defeats the entire purpose of a pistol, but I guess it's because these are probably flintlock. Which means you need the second hand to reload them. Set it up for another shot, which, yeah, also very slow in the range of eight meters. Definitely old smoothbore flintlock pistol. It's nice damage, though. Low accuracy, unsurprising. Not sure what Veil Piercing is. Bypasses damage reduction. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's very slow, but it's still faster than the other uh, presumable firearms, the Arquebus. I could afford a fine saber. How does that compare? No, no, no. Not to my rod. To me. Yeah, a bit more damage. But this one has the higher accuracy. And, um... I mean, just slightly, but still. And is much faster. Which I appreciate. Maybe I should sell some stuff. Okay, that's good for selling. Um, of those at least. Keep one of each of these. All right, seven hundred and sixty copper. Very nice.
Though, once again, I still don't feel the uh, need to buy any of his stuff. Or to back, buy back any of my stuff. Yes. No, you know what? Me, um... <laughs> me taking his money and selling him useless junk kind of defeats the entire purpose of what he was trying to do, doesn't it? I feel a little bad for him now. Ranga and Tana. Wait, I know that name. Where did Ranga come up? Oh yeah, there, Mother Ranga. It's the Mother's Plate. That's who we're after. She's with a, uh, an adorable little, is that a shower? It's got the spear. You find yourself facing a towering Amao woman. Her skin is the warm gold brown of a dying sunset, with pale fish white patches at throat and hands. Wavy red brown hair pulled into tight braids around a stripe of bare skin that follows the curve of her skull. Flo uh, flows down over her broad shoulders. Well met, friend. She regards you calmly, evidently unsurprised to find you here at the edge of her camp by the water. Have you come for medicines and craft works or to share the fire? She is supposed to be young or old, isn't she? I just... It's the impression I got from how she was being described before. She gestures to the large cauldron nearby. Though now she doesn't sound or look like it. Um, who are you? My name is Ranga. I lived in Gilded Vale for a time. Working as a healer and a midwife. Perhaps you've been to that place? You'll understand, then, why I might choose to come south. Oh, yeah. 100%. If you had stayed, I'm sure you would have been blamed for something and been killed. In any case, it is far more comfortable here, by the shore, where I can hear the water. And I still get visitors from time to time. Perhaps you're in need of something? What's that shower up doing here? Who, Tana? He helps me gather ingredients, work the cauldron, things like that. He's been quite a help around here. Oh, fair enough. The shower up lets out a rattling chirp and bears its teeth in what you guess is intended to be a cheerful expression. Ha uh ha, -huh, it's kind of cute. Do you have anything for sale? Certainly, have a look. Hmm. Blackson. Interesting. It's another one of those. Maybe it's a drink or a drug. Welcome. Yeah, so about this, um, Offra sent me here. She says that you know some way to ensure that her child is not a hollowborn. Ah, more of Lord Redrick's frightened flock. She nods slowly. You are kind to come all this way. Poor Afra must be beside herself. I imagine she gave you something for payment. Whatever it is, you keep it. I don't need coin. That's cool. I need you to do something for me instead. Ranga points inland. There is a Shawup tribe to the northeast, led by one of their priests. Tana was exiled from there some time ago, and their scouts still lurk about this place, waiting for an opportunity to end his life. That's mean. What, exile wasn't enough? Shawup lets out a rattling squawk head drooping. One day I will have to go for supplies, and I will come back to find my assistant slain. How will I help anyone then? She shakes her head. You rid me of this nuisance, and I will do what I can for Afra, and throw in something for you too. Alright then, sure. Why not? I'll be back when it's done. I would... Honestly, I was probably going to wipe out the tribe anyways. Though you actually can do something for Afra then, right? It wasn't just a... False rumor. Good, good. You'll find them easily enough, I think. She smiles, bearing sharp teeth. Good luck. Fish clumps of seaweed, bright green with seat. Royal in the stew. Tastes pleasantly salty.
I wonder if this means you could have helped the uh, magistrate and chose not to, or if he is beyond help and the others aren't, since it was his crime, I'm assuming, that caused the current situation. Who cast something there? Of course. Hmm. Is this the northeast? Uh... Oh, maybe not. It's just, maybe it's just a sea cave. Guess we'll find out. This is the Sharp tribe. Um, lovely. Let's see. Hmm? Are they coming here? Yes. Oh no, I don't think it's actually seen me yet. I want to burn them all with fire. Of course. Oh, good. If I can lure one out, that's fantastic. Um. How may I tax to my limit? There we go. I still imagine they're weak to fire, but well, keeping an eye out. Careful, piggy! Don't uh, don't trick. Okay, here they come. Ow! Is that you, a month? Damn it! I need you for burning purposes. Oh no, that's her. Never mind. Ah, oh. Just like an adherent to go down fast. Damn it. <laughs> that's mean. Yeah, no, uh. We uh messed this up. Let's just do a uh, straight up um, burn them all. You give me a it's only a single target but it does burn which is good. That's what I'm after. Get the dang spore. Could probably control one of them, but um He's already knocked out immediately. Maybe I should get one of these. Ah, that all failed. Oh, good. At least they're actually coming for us this time. Um, endurance. Give me this. Give me... Mm, maybe Whispers of Treason? 
No. Mind wave? No. Let's do Whispers of Treason. What? Here we go. Damn it! It went the wrong way. Hey, when they move. Also, apparently, uh, these guys have high will. Good to know. Okay, we're going consecrated ground. And then... I guess mind wave. Yeah, it doesn't seem all that effective, honestly. Dead. And just keep attacking. Let's try, uh... Burning you. Well. Well. Yeah, it helps a little bit. Hit those three, but I would have to hit myself as well. we shouldn't enter this cave yet. Because again, I really need non-casters in my party. What is it? <sighs> just one. I'd be happy with just one. As you wish. Oh, that's a big school. A couple of them, in fact. I wonder what those belong to. Oh, another page from his travels. I met a helpful Darewood woman while in Gilded Vale. She was an invaluable guide during my time in that sorry village and agreed to accompany me some of the way toward Anslog's compass. We parted ways in the wilds known as Magrun's Fork, but I gave her my amulet, so... Oh, that's how her, how his amulet ended up there. So that she might remember me fondly. Perhaps I'll return to these lands someday after all. Okay. Well, rip that woman. What is it? Where are those showers? Is this one of them? Yeah, probably. I shall be discreet. Right, let's just kill you. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Interesting choice of uh, thing to do. Should let them get a little closer before I do that. In the meantime, let's um 
increase our accuracy or increase our damage reduction, actually. You cast it quickly. Well, words and yeah, it's something. Holy radiance, please. Damn it. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Way, way too many. How many? That Dazem. Am I dazed? A lot. Yeah. Let's uh let's go back. Yes. And there's another one over there. Oh, did I lure this one out? Just the single one? It's so fantastic. If I can pick them off slowly but surely, that'll make my job a lot easier. Ghoul, a vessel. Huh. One of those, uh... Nope. Solus, basically. I just... It's going straight for him. Doesn't even care. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, that's the, from the f the ship, right? Shoot, there's multiple of them. Uh. Yeah. There's a lot of them here. something. Holy Radiance. I think that hurts them. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hurts vessels a lot. Oh, which one of you is almost done? this one okay good keep going magic missile um I guess barbs of condemnation Did that help at all? A little bit. Let's go divine mark against you. What? Shoot, he's about to go down. So many of them. Uh, we're out. If 
Have you not cast that yet? How fast is that? Eh, average. Still. I, I fear we've lost Damn it. Yeah, there were a lot of them there. Yes. We'll kill this one. One shouldn't be a problem. I was just getting an onslaught of them. That was the problem. And you know what? Margaret's fire. Can okay, you have. Pulsing seal. See, it's a 1.25 meter radius. Okay, let's try that. As light in dark places, Lavaru beyond seek. Okay, now can I launch an immediate first? Strike against you, maybe. At right, all of you, you can stop now. Good, it is repulsing them. That's what I was hoping for. Hi. Shoot, they're making their way through. Is it is it disappearing or something? No. Oh, they get knocked down easily enough. That's nice. Still some doubt in them. And let's burn the shite out of them. If we can. Did, did you cast it? I guess you did. Ooh, mental binding. Um, that one is not AoE. No, it is. And the other one was, uh... Right. Improves our own deflection. Let's get our Holy Radiance up. And... Arcane Strike. Damn it, we missed the uh, the Holy Radiance. The repulsion didn't last as long as I thought it would. Perhaps it wasn't as good of an idea as I thought. Hmm? I mean, it doesn't say that it disappears after a single activation, but perhaps it does. You can tr trust me. As you wish. Okay. Hmm? Do you want to, uh... 
a single barbs of condemnation on him. Okay. Let's go ahead and I wonder if they're immune to uh, charmed. Yeah, okay, they are immune to charmed. Good to know. That's a, that's a waste now. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Restored our uh, stamina a little bit. Let's try another one of these. Let's get our Holy Radiance up before you die this time. Good. And... That one's badly injured. Injured. Barely injured. Let's get the badly injured one. And then the injured one. It's like they have poison from their bodies. Heal, heal. Damn it. I should have put up a, uh, a zone of healing. Consecrated ground. That might be smart next time. Oh, but we almost we almost have them. Perhaps I should do that now. Or alternatively divine mark. That's it. The Baru beyond sea. Okay, that that might be it. Oh yes, we made it. Well, the center of a ring of jagged stone. This boulder casts shadows across the sand as the sun moves overhead. Assume that was all of them. I hope. No morning star, some copper. Shoot, another one. Keeping an eye out. A rod. Ah, there's a couple of them in there. Let's, um, blow them back if we can, and Barb's of Condemnation, you're out of spells. Well. Give me another one. You not cast your spell? Yeah, you did. Give me a holy what? aura. How much does that actually hurt them? Uh, a little bit. Right? Holy Radiance, two grays, six hit. Supposed to burn them, but it doesn't seem like it says it's burning them. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay. Was that enough for you? No. Clearly not. Did I save after? I hope I did. Well, okay, thank goodness I did. Some pollution in the in the water, presumably from the vessels. Blade in the dark. Okay, let's um let just myself get this. Well that best stealth. Okay. Let's save. Can I do this? Um maybe. I don't have many spells at the moment, but what? No more repulsion. How long do they... 12 seconds they'll be stuck for? Levaru. Hold on. Levaru so. beyond seek. Hmm? Hit that one, please. Okay, good. Let's get you to use, uh... Actually, let's have you use this immediately. Mirror image. And... Okay, good. We knocked one over. Let's hit them all with the arcane strike. Let's, um... Barely injured... Really injured. That one isn't injured at all. Let's uh, let's hit this one. Okay, that one's injured. Barely injured. Not injured. Still nothing there. He's out of stuff, but let's use our Holy Radiance. Take one out. Damn it. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Oh, they are missing a lot. He just doesn't have, doesn't have the damage output. That hits for a lot more for him. Staff. Okay, come on. Let's do another barb. Actually, no, let's do a um a blessing. Also need to get them uh Harder to see sooner rather than later. Okay, let's knock him over. Damn it! My divine blessing came too late. Yes. Good, knock him over. Oh, 
Where's the other one? Should be, uh, there they are. Yes. Let us get our... Oh, did you already use it? Oh, Holy Radiance. Uh, but our HP is too low. This doesn't actually help us out a lot. with a uh, shroud do we get him did we just get the one damn it I use that and let's get a blessing here Uh, it hits at least those two. That's good. Well, and you, um, keep attacking. Oh, we're doing well so far. Did we? Did we get one of them? No. There we go. All three. You... Let's decrease their accuracy with Divine Tear. Tear. Oh, good. Yeah, we lost uh, old Durrance there. That one's almost down, though. Okay, that one's down. Good. Hit this one. You don't have any more spells left. Oh, no. She's down, too. Shit. That's something, but it's not going to be enough. Damn it. Uh, almost enough. Close, but no cigar. Oh good, we got at least two or three this time. Um... Let's go ahead and... Should go with Blessing, Halt, Divine Tear. Makes him frightened for 18.8 seconds. I like that. They have high will, though. Might be better to increase our accuracy. Let's get our... There we go. And hit them with our Arcane Strike. Maybe Armor of Faith afterwards. she die? What hit her? Did they throw something? I'm not even seeing it. Yeah. How did she 
go down? Damn it. Oh well. She contributed. That's the important thing. Come on, use your... Before you go down, there we go. Um... Actually, I don't think we're gonna take any of these down. Oh damn, maybe he will. He hits hard with his staff. I fear we've lost the angry one. <laughs> the angry one. Can we get it? Just maybe? What's your other weapon? A rape here. Not sure. It'll allow you to hit for more, actually. Yeah. Just keep hitting. I think we might have this. Come on. Oh, shit. Almost. Come on. Come on. Almost. Damn it. So close. Okay, once again, we got two of them. Let's get a armor of faith here. Good. Knocks two of them down. And let's beat this one. Don't you dare attack her. Yes. Okay, good. Um... Good. Hit that one. Blew that one up. That's fantastic. Um. Can I run? Leave her alone. Fact. All of you just attack this one. I want that action economy, damn it. Yes. Yeah, not enough. Oh, good, 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 good. We got this. You use your, uh... There we go. Prevent him from hurting you. Too much. It hurts. Damn it. We're close, though. We are close. Come on, just whack him over the head. Whack him. Yes. Way to go, Durrance. The angry monk. What is it? Whew. Well, another page from his travels. While traveling west towards Gilded Vale, I encountered a fellow traveler of some considerable intelligence, and we engaged in pleasant conversation. It came to light that the poor fellow had the most ex execrable huh, pair of boots upon him. I gave him one of my spare sets that he might appreci uh, better appreciate villain craftsmanship. It is the greatest in the world. May they serve him well, for he said he intended to cross the wilderness known as the Black Meadow. I cannot imagine it is a pleasant place. Oh, maybe I'll run into those boots there. 
But yes, I think we should both rest. And uh, call it here for today. I so desperately need a frontline fighter. <laughs>